And that's basketball. Big story now. Football and this weather forecast. That's a drive over to Oxford. Yeah, you, you play indoors in basketball, outdoor in football. But what about the fans getting to Oxford tomorrow? Uh, tonight's fine. Tomorrow they might run into some rain. Chance of rain, mm. about 60 to 70 percent coverage of a given area. That's a pretty good bet. We're going to see at least clouds for sure, but then the chance of rain. Let's take a live view, though, over downtown Birmingham. It is dry and it looks good, but it is hot. 92 right now in Anniston, as well as Birmingham. T Town, you're at 93. Winds out of the south southeast, anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour. But it's been a pleasant day, even though it has been rather hot. Not a whole lot in the way of moisture to worry about. As we uh, look at what's going on across our area right now, the storm track radar are not offering any rain. We have had dry air move in. That has helped to suppress any rain development across our area. As a matter of fact, that has helped to suppress the cloud cover as well. So we've had, a plenty, or we've had plenty of sunshine, that is, and it will certainly be a uh, stretch of dry weather for the remainder of this evening, especially if you're headed out this evening, maybe go do a little yard work or whatever it may be. Across Alabama, not much happening. There were showers to the south and west and across the northern Gulf of Mexico. But back into Mississippi, this is an interesting view. You can see the rain starting to track into Jackson. Nothing up around the Oxford area yet. Nothing over on the plains yet. But the showers are to the south. And I want to emphasize the chance of rain is not as great for uh, the Auburn game as it is for the Alabama game. Now, for the remainder of tonight, if you're headed to high school football games, many of you likely are. Temperatures, they're going to be hot, 92 at 6 o'clock. And then we'll begin the cooling process, maybe a few clouds hanging around through 9 o'clock and at the end of the fourth quarter. Now, for the Auburn football game, an isolated shower, thunder shower, it's possible. Not a guarantee, but temperatures will be rather hot. 94 for tailgating, so plenty of water. You might want to get one of the pop-up tents. That helps to at least take some of the edge off without the direct sun. And then by kickoff, around 88 degrees. Plenty of sunshine. There will be some clouds, but it will be dry through the football game, eventually getting into the upper 70s to wrap up the fourth quarter. Here's a look at our storm track future cast for the remainder of tonight. Some clouds on and off, but that's about it through 10 o'clock. No green on the board. And then the chance of showers will start to pop up randomly in the early morning tomorrow. That's not a guarantee that we'll see rain here, but there will be moisture which will increase. And this is by 5 o'clock tomorrow, so scattered showers, maybe a thunder shower, a good possibility around central Alabama as we go through the afternoon tomorrow. So for many of you, you're probably going to be parked right here watching the football game, the Alabama game against Oxford on CBS 42, and then followed by the Auburn game later in the evening. Temperatures into the upper 80s for tomorrow. Chance of a shower or a thunder shower. Rain coverage a little better for Sunday. Monday, rain chance is only at about 30%. And then temperatures will stay in the lower 90s for the first of next week. But next week, after we get past Thursday, Friday, you can see a little rain on the board there. That's an indication we've got at least a front moving our way. And this one might bring us a bit of a cool down. Jim? All right, Mark. Thank